everyone. Welcome to my program, Ribbon with Ten Minutes. My name is Ribbon, and today we are going to be doing test three, which is decimals, fractions, and percentages. Do you know any of these mathematical terms? Fractions, decimals, percentages. Any? Well, if you do, or even if you don't. Let's start test three. So, as I said, test three is all about fractions, decimals, and percentages. So, let's start with question one. Some equivalent fractions are shown on the number lines. Okay. Write the missing values to make these equivalent fractions correct. We don't even need the number line. So. Two thirds. We need to find the equivalent fraction with four something, and is also equivalent to something twelfths. So we need to know how we can solve equivalent fractions. I've taught you this before. So two times two is four. So we've got times two. So we must times the denominator, which is three, by two. So it's six. So let's write the answer. Okay. So the answer is six. Uh, yeah, that's the correct. Now we need to know what four six is equivalent. Two in twelfths, twelfths, which is eight twelfths, because six times two is twelve. So we've got the same denominator. So four times two is eight. So we've done the first question. Let's move on to the second question. Shade three quarters of each shape, not three quarters of one of the shapes. All shapes. So. The first or the A shape is easy because there's already four, and you must shade in three. So let's shade in them. Wait, no, not like that. Okay, then. Okay, so that for a triangle that is cut into four squares, that's how it looks like. But there's other ways if you want to shade three or four. Now we move on to this B shape. Now we know three quarters can be six eighths, so we must shade six eighths because there's eight parts in the shape. So, okay. This might take a while, guys. So. Just bear with me. Okay, we've done that. So yeah, that. So this is six eighths, or if you want to simplify six eighths, is three quarters. Now our last shape. If we know that this shape has twelve, we must times four by three to get twelve. So three times four is twelve. Wait, have I said it right? No, three times three is nine. So we must shade in nine. Wait, 
Yeah. Well, actually. Yeah, I told you, it might take a while. Bear with me. Okay, so that's nine twelfths or three quarters. Question three: Circle the two numbers that are not equivalent to zero point two. We know that zero point two in a fraction is twenty over a hundred. So that means twenty <coughs> percent. Is what do you call it? Equivalent to zero point two, but two is not. So circle that um number. Yeah, you must circle it. Okay, we have another one to circle. So which one is it? We know that 0 0.20 is the same as 0 0.2, it's just another 0. We know that 1.5 is equivalent to 20%, which is 20 over 100. If you do your calculations, that is correct. But a half is 50%, which is not equivalent to 20%. That means half is incorrect. So, let's do question number four. <clears throat> These numbers have been placed in order, starting with the smallest. Two are in the wrong place, so we must cross them out and write them in the correct place. Well, what do we do? Cross out this one, because that one's bigger than that. We found the second answer. Okay, now we need to switch them around. So that means this answer is going to be two point. Two zero two, and this one. Uh, I'll just place it there. Is two point two two. Look at these statements. Put a tick if they are true, and cross if they are false. Alright, so one six is double of a third. Doubling one third will mean one third plus one third, which is two thirds. And it doesn't give you a six. So that's wrong. So I put it across. This one's wrong because 0 0.3 times 10 is 0 0.30. No, so that means this one is correct. Because it's the last one. Next, Phoebe. Painted the third of a wall on Monday. One half of the wall on Tuesday and the rest of the wall on Wednesday. So, we must write our method. So what I think is that we should...
do half and then a third and then we write after and what one six because then it shows a hole so that means this is my method because a half no not a half a half is made of a third and a six because a third has two six and two six two six plus one six is a half and a half plus half is a whole. So the answer is one sixth. Draw lines to match the equivalent improper fractions and mixed numbers. One has been done for you. Alright, so we need our line again. 9. So we know that this times 5 is 5. Times plus 4 is 9. So this is 9 fifths. Then this 1 times 5, I told you, that would be 7 fifths. And then not, that's the last one. So that's the answer to that one. Okay, last question. An ice cream shop sells chocolate and vanilla ice creams. Last week they sold 351 ice creams. Two thirds of the ice creams sold were chocolate flavour. How many vanilla ice creams were sold? Well, I think that we must do the bus stop method yeah since two thirds are gone we only need to work out one third so we just divide by three yeah okay so 351 in my bus math in my bus stop i'll just Cancel it because it's too long. And what's the divisor? Three. Okay. Uh, there. Okay. Now, three divided by three is one. And no, not three. Yeah, three divided by three is one. Five divided by three is also one, but we have two remaining here. So twenty-one divided by three is seven. So the answer is hundred and seventeen vanilla ice creams. Wait, let me fix it. Instead of that one, I'll just... 117 vanilla ice creams. Let's check. First question down, second, yep. Yeah. Ooh. Wait. 
third question done, fourth question done, fifth question done, six, yep, yeah, seven, yep, yeah, eight. I hope you guys enjoyed this program. So, learn every day a minimum of 10 minutes. Minimum. <coughs> and I'll see you all next week, Saturday and Sunday. Bye-bye.